old and I'm from Queensland. Okay, why did you make the decision to have surgery overseas and how did you hear about Medi Makeovers? Well, I heard about Medi Makeovers through a good friend of mine who recommended them to me about 12 months ago. I did my own research online um, just to see for myself and just from the responses that I was receiving from other um, medical tourism companies from, compared to this one, this one did sort of deliver everything that my friend said that they would. They booked the, accom they booked the accommodation for you, um, you know, they organise trips from the airport, they organise your consult with the doctor once you're at the hospital, they give you maps and directions and shopping ideas and everything like that, so um, Mini Makeovers seemed to be the best option for me. You know, this is something that I've wanted to do since I was about 16 years old and um, I just never got it done in Australia because it, it just cost way too much money for, for something that, you know, it wasn't going to, it was more aesthetic rather than, you know, of a thing that had to be done. So I think the surgery that I got here in Thailand cost me $5,000, whereas the exact same surgery if I had gotten it in Australia would cost me from about $17,000. How did you feel about Medi Makeover's process before you arrived in Thailand? Um, when I first in inquired, I got a, a phone call straight away, just, um, you know, in, uh, the lady Vicky introduced herself to me, said that she'd be helping me through the whole process, and of course it's no obligation, so if I wanted to change my mind any time I could. Um, they sent me so much information, or sorry, Vicky sent me so much information on, um, as I said before, um, tourism places, where I'd be staying, um, so I could research the hotels that I'd be going to, um, what to do pro post surgery and prior to surgery, such as you know, no smoking, no drinking. Um, all the information that I was given was vast. It was um, there was a lot of information, and you just you got to make sure you know because it is quite a serious thing that you're doing. It's major surgery. You got to make sure that you read everything that you're given. And how did you feel about your consultation with Dr. Somsack when you saw him? It was great. I, um, you know, I could understand him thoroughly, even though he, he is from a, a different country. His English was fantastic. There was no communication barriers. I was able to um, actually try in some of the different types of um, implants that he has available, and we discussed, you know, what implant would be best for myself um, compared to my body shape and my previous breast size and, and all of that and yeah no it was fantastic I, I didn't have any problems. How was your treatment and your stay at the hospital? Well I was initially I believe we were, I was only meant to stay one night but because the operation um, after my consultation with Dr Somsack we agreed to change the type of um, operation that I was to have and implants that I was to have and I ended up staying for two nights. The first night that I was there, it felt like every 15 minutes I had someone in my room. I had one nurse checking my blood pressure, one nurse checking my IV, another nurse checking my um, temperature. They were just all so fantastic and they all spoke English. I pushed that button if I needed someone to help me to go to the bathroom and they were there straight away. It was fantastic. Okay, so would you recommend many makeovers and having surgery in Thailand to your friends and family? Absolutely. My, um, my sister is actually going to get a um, breast reduction, lucky her, <laughs> a breast reduction and I would definitely be recommending her to um, go through many makeovers and my brother and is coming over to Thailand to get his teeth done and my brother's girlfriend is also coming over to Thailand to get her breasts done and she's very jealous that I beat her to it. <laughs> Okay, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you.